Hey guys, Bailey from Raw City. Hope you have a good day or night wherever you are. Today we are going to be doing a video that I've been wanting to do for quite a long time now. And this is just a look at my recently completed minimalist RGB bedroom renovation with the office space. Obviously you saw a little preview of the room in both daylight and in complete darkness with all the coloured smart lights in the room. Well now I'm going to explain everything in these clips that you just saw, such as the new furniture, new setup, coloured lights and how I did it. Basically what I did with the blank room and office area first was I patched the walls in the rooms as there were so many cracks in the room that badly needed to be patched up. I then centered the doors, trims and windows and painted the whole thing white to make the room feel modern brighter and bigger. Once I finished painting the room, I stripped most of the original furniture out except for my desk, couch and coffee table and moved the latter into the second part of my bedroom in which I previously used as a spare bedroom but now I converted it into a full office slash studio for myself which I'm very very happy with especially with the space as well. I then ordered a new queen size bed and bedside table along with the lamp which looked very nice and the bed is very very comfortable to sleep on. After most of my room is finished, we also ordered new blinds for the whole house in which we ordered some double roller shades from DIYblinds.com.au. These are really nice quality blinds for cheaper than getting them professionally installed and they also offer other nice window furnishings such as Venetian blinds, sheer curtains and exclusively Australian made Polylux plantation shutters. I will now go into detail on all the products, furniture and lights that I have in my room in which I also put most of the links in the description below. Basically most of the new furniture is from Ikea. The queen size bed and the bedside table are both part of the Ikea Trisel range. And in Australia they are available in either white or in a dark wood grain colour. In which I obviously chose the darker colour as it contrasts really nicely with the white walls. The mattress is also from Ikea and is very comfortable to sleep on. On the bedside table we have a black digital radio clock for $12 from Kmart. Which I only ever use to check the time and I've never ever listened to the radio in it. Ever. We then have an IKEA Clab table lamp, which I really like it as it has a modern fresh design and I also have a smart light hooked up to it, which I'll explain more about it a bit later in the video. Next to it, we have my Google Home Mini, which I use it for a lot of things, such as to check my calendar, to listen to music on it, and to also control my smart lights. We also now have my shattered Apple TV remote, which surprisingly functions normally. Next to it, we have the remote for my 2013 42 inch Sonic HD TV, in which the TV is still very nice quality and has very, has nice colours for its age. Only thing I can complain about, however, is that the built-in software is very, very slow and it takes some time to change the channels, but it is a really big deal for me. Next to it is a little Adelaide Crows wristband. Yes, I know, Crows are playing like shit this year, but I am a big Crows supporter. And my friend bought me this wristband not too long ago. And I keep it on display on my bedside table as it reminds me of her and it also reminds me of the crows. I also have a really nice indoor plant from Ikea which adds some style to the room. The giant picture above my bed is also from Ikea. And you can get it with either a black frame or a silver frame in which I obviously chose the black. My gram gave me this awesome picture for my birthday this year and it cost about $149. The traditional pendant light fixture from before still remains. However, I've now hooked up some smart LED lights to it, which I will again explain later in the video. Moving along into my new studio, we start with my black IKEA desk that I bought in 2017 to replace my tiny dark wood grain desk from before. It like always for me has loads of space for me to work on in which I'm really happy with it. My setup is now much less cluttered from before in which I'm very happy with how tidy it is now. We start off with my trusty early 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro, which as a lot of you know, has been my main beast for five years and still runs very, very well. However, nowadays I could do a bit of a spec upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM and have more storage space built in. Next to it is my 21 inch Sphere TV, which I also use as a monitor, which works nicely for now until I can get a proper monitor. We then have my Logitech speakers that we have had for many years and they still work great. We also have another indoor plant at the end of the setup which adds some style to the setup. Behind the desk we have some strip lights that I will explain later in the video. Moving on from the setup, we have the same neutral beige couch that I've had since 2017 which looks really modern and suits any colour scheme in my personal opinion. Above it we have my photo wall in which my twin sister Lily actually made it for me and put lots of photos of me friends and family and even photos of when I met the Crows players and when I met the Royal Stampede. 
What's your name, bro? Bailey. Oh, yeah, Bailey. Yeah. Have you yeah, always comment on our stuff? One. Yes, Rawson, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Big fan of your channel, man. <laughs> oh, this guy's a legend. He always comments on yeah, our yeah. stuff. Photos on the wall, of course, will change as time goes by. Next to the couch is my little coffee table, which has a salt timer that I use for display purposes, a little light box with a quote my mum put in a few years back, and we also have my old IKEA Fado lamp that we've had for a very long time. However, like my other lights, I've now put in a smart light in there. Finally, we also have my cupboards, which I also use as a shelf. I just keep my clothes and deodorant and all that inside, but I also have the boxes for some of my tech that I've owned, and we also have the box that has my mobile phone collection in it, and three computers that I used to use, in which I'll make a video of these in the future. Now that we've talked about what's in my room, we will now talk about my smart colored LED light setup. All of this was partially inspired by YouTuber Coltography and how cool his lights are. Nearly all the lights are connected to a Philips Hue bridge which is in my parents room as the router sits in there. I can control my iPhone 8 Plus and with my Google Home Mini. The pendant light has three hue colour and white bayonet 22 bulbs which has a great colour spectrum. These are also hooked up to my Mac with the Hue Sync app which makes the lights dance to either the music you are playing or the video that you are playing. <laughs> My IKEA Clab and Fido lamps are actually connected to some IKEA Color and White Trad Free lights, which have the same technology as the Hue lights, so I have them controlled by the Hue app like the dependent lights. The color spectrum is pretty much on point with the Hue bulbs, except the blues and greens aren't as accurate as the Hue, but this isn't a huge deal for me at all. The strip lights behind the desk are at the minute some cheap colored LED strip lights. They have really nice colors, but I don't like how I have to physically push a button on the strips to turn them on instead of a remote. So I'll eventually change them to Hue strip lights. Overall, I'm very happy with the current lighting setup. However, I might add a few more in the future, such as ceiling lights in my office, a strip light around my bed, and some strip lights around my TV. Anyway, guys, that is it for my minimalist RGB room setup. Hope you guys like it, and I hope it inspires you to create your own. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to follow my Instagram as well. Bo Ethan Rawson, signing out. Hey Google, turn the lights off.